Hey everybody, today I figured I'd do something a little different. I saw a documentary, and it was just a quick little clip, but it was a time lapse of an area near the Everglades and how drastically it's changed over the past, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. And I thought, huh, I want to mess around a little bit with that myself, being a Florida born and raised man. Um, I have seen it change a lot myself and I wanted to kind of go over some interesting things that can, and kind of puts things into perspective on how fast things grow. We talk about climate change and I, well, I for one am not like some, if you're liberal, I'm not going to say, I'm not bagging on you, but I am not some bleeding heart climate change crazy person like there is room for us to for sure do things better i 100 percent am not against you know doing things that are going to harm the environment less for sure but i'm not also like we need zero percent carbon emissions by blah 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 not at all i'm all for growth but i'm for doing it smart smart does not include destroying the forests and all of the you know all of the natural areas so i have a, a few places i want to show you how drastically things have changed now this is set right now on 1984. this is the way that miami dade homestead looked in 1984. okay right here now watch as it goes to current year. And I'm going to do this at one, like two, five times speed. Yeah. Watch the change. Watch the growth as places start to pop up and more expansion happens. The Everglades get smaller and smaller. Just absolutely nuts how much stuff grows in here and just gets denser and denser in population watch we'll zoom in a little bit more and you can see these are all farmlands right here and this is all rural development and that isn't as drastic and then things get a lot clearer that isn't as drastic as a lot of places like they pretty much stopped right here but you go a little bit farther north look at this the change right here everything kind of just kind of stretches across and it happens very quickly to a point where you don't almost don't even notice it and all this wild area just disappears now a place that also that is currently under development that I would love to show you guys here okay look this is going to change a lot this is 1984 that's alligator alley right here this is I-75 and then it just explodes and so these neighborhoods right here have been laying out, uh, drawn out for a long time. And it's only recently that they've actually started to develop. I went through this area right here, right here, um, not too long ago, literally like beginning of the year. And all of this right here, this is all going to be a giant neighborhood. This is all going to be a giant, like this is a chunk of the Everglades just gone to neighborhood. This is in the middle of, of Flor like you know where the Florida Panthers live this is the Florida Panthers habitat this right here is where all the Florida Panthers are supposedly living right here south of the Caloosahatchee this is a Caloosahatchee right here right here see that river that runs through and it comes from this this is Babcock Ranch that documentary that came out that Leonardo DiCaprio worked on, this is where they were they filmed that first female panther back a few years ago. 
this right here is all of the area that's supposed to be protected wild panther habitat if you go back watch watch how this area changes look at this that's all homes and subdivisions and cities going this is where the wild panthers are supposed to live right here this area you see some areas stay relatively wild but look at all of the growth all that the lightness that's all these are all subdivisions and cities and streets and homes this is where the panther is supposed to live and it's gone see at this point it was still kind of wild and then it just turned into homes you see the streets popping up watch this one more time this is in the middle of all of it 2015 16 17. like it's all homes now that was all woods right there and then it just disappears and turns into homes you're telling me a panther's gonna live in all this that's where it's supposed to live okay that's just a, a brief example okay we'll go up to the area i'm living in right now this is 1984 Riverview Parish, that's the Alifier right there. Watch. As the area just gets turned. Mosaic. Look at all Mosaic's mines right here. Look at all that. These are all phosphate mines. Areas just stripped and destroyed. And it moves over time. Like it doesn't all stay in the same spot. The area becomes not worth it and they just expand it. These are just areas being stripped of everything they have. And it may not be farmland, but it's fucking Mosaic. Who does untold amounts of damage. Just central part of the state. Just look at all that. That's all mines in here. That's all phosphate mining. Just moving across. Destroying areas. Just disgusting. That area just doesn't come back right away. That's all owned by them. Okay, here's Lake Apopka. This is Orlando area. Watch this. Just giant growth. Areas that were once wilderness, gone. Just gone. So according to FWC's own website right here, this is where Florida Panthers are being found. This whole area in South Florida, and they are north of Okeechobee, but supposedly there are no females in here. This is all roving males, and all the females are down here, and there are roughly 120 to 230 adult cats. I believe there's a lot more than that, but that doesn't really matter as much. So we remember going over this whole area down south here that's supposed to be where most of these Panthers are and how much it's just being destroyed. Oh, look at this map of it. This is Big Cypress National Preserve. This is Florida Panther National Wildlife Refuge. This purple right here, that's where that neighborhood was being built up. Okay? That's This whole area right here is supposed to be protected panther habitat. And look what it is. Corkscrew Swamp. All this area in here. This is like this Big Cypress National Preserve. That's Everglades. But on this side of things, it's it's just Florida Panther National Wildlife Refuge is literally being built into stuff, into homes, neighborhoods. In the middle of this. This whole area, the Clusachi River, supposedly only only a couple of females have ever been seen above this since, you know, I don't know, the 80s. Babcock Ranch. All of this in here is supposed to be where the panthers live and breed. And this is just being destroyed. And of course, as I said, according to FWC, 
They go way farther north than that. They've been spotted almost all the way to Jacksonville. A few years ago, there was one that was shot in Georgia. Like, these animals are moving farther north, and the habitat is just being destroyed. How are the animals supposed to make a comeback if their prime habitat is destroyed? 75 goes right through there. Alligator Alley. All this is gone. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. And we keep on growing. The population keeps on growing. And it's not going to stop. Anytime soon. It's just going to get worse. And then there's going to be nothing left. And they're like, well, all our animals are gone. And we should have done something about it sooner. And then you get situations like that. Doesn't make any sense. Let me know what you think down below. Am I being too nitpicky? Or does this actually make any sense? Please let me know in the comment section down below. How can we worry about fucking pythons when there's going to be no habitat left for the native things to live in? There's not going to be anything left. And pythons are what we're worried about. Doesn't really make sense to me. If you feel any different, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay wild, unlike Florida.